Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to part 14 of the Fan Art Feb series and happy Valentine's Day. So for today's video, I'm doing a collab with Claire from Black Summer Colouring. She's also taking part in this series with me and the ones she's done so far are so amazing but we both decided it would be good to do Tarzan because we knew we wanted to do a Disney film and try and do one that's not as well, well not recognised because people know Tarzan but you don't really see it a lot because they mainly do like the normal Disney princess ones. So we thought we'd do the half and half sort of one and Claire drew Tarzan on the right hand side so I drew Jane on the left. And I was originally going to do this traditionally but then I drew Jane, I couldn't decide if I'd drawn her a little too big and I wanted to make sure it matched up properly to Claire's half so I thought you know what I'm just going to do it digitally and I actually did this in my live stream where I finished yesterday's video, not yesterday, sorry, um, Sunday's video, the Bokoblin from Legend of Zelda. And it was such a fun stream. Claire was actually in the stream, so she's seen this, and a few people have seen part of it because I didn't finish it in the stream. Um, it's coming up soon to where I did stop. So they saw the start process, like where I cleaned up the line art and started putting some background in, and I did the little background sketch. Uh, they didn't see anything after that. I did. I think I'd blocked in Jane's colours as well and that was about all they'd seen because it was getting like half ten at night then and I was sort of like, oh, I'm so tired and my back was hurting so, you know, I had to just stop for the night and come back to it another day. But it felt weird doing another digital piece and it was just because I haven't done a full one with a background for a long time. I'm not completely happy with the background but I am happy for my skill level now I'm happy with how it's at I know it could be better but my current digital skill level is just it's just not quite there yet so I'll just go over what I do when I'm doing a digital piece normally I will get it depending if I do the line art or not I'll draw the line art like in this one I did the line art first like cleaned it up and then I block in well, I did the background sketch on another layer then, and this time I tried to make sure I labelled each layer separately. But then I will do block colours for each section of the character. So, like, I did a skin colour on one layer, the skirt, the top, and the hair. Just so then it kind of keeps it all neat and tidy when I'm putting it all together. And then sometimes I don't do that and I just paint all on one like layer and that works fine. But for ones like this, more detailed ones, I do prefer to do them separately just so then I don't have to worry about cleaning it all up as much. So I started off with doing the shading on the skin which to be honest I think it could have used a little bit more and I'm not completely happy with how I've drawn the face. I think it needs a little bit more work but drawing a face on such a small scale because I do it did uh, drew it traditionally first I think that's why it's like that so it looks funny zoomed in on the computer but then when it's zoomed out it doesn't look as bad because obviously you can't see it as much because it's further away and then I moved on to just neatening up all the edges on the different sections and what I do is select each section separately when I'm colouring it so it doesn't go out of the lines so I'll get the select tool which is what I've just done on the skirt and it's just really quick then I just get literally the pencil tool or the brush tool and just block in some colour and then use the watercolour tool on Paint Tool Sci to blend it out. I don't like blending it too much because I like some of the pencil or the paint marks in there still but I do blend a fair amount. Uh, the background on this was a little hard for me when I was doing it because like I said I don't do backgrounds very often anyway. So my skill level on here to do it is just, well, I did keep swapping back to Photoshop just so I could um, make sure everything matched properly and I was get I did also try sort of using the clone tool to try and get some of the texture from Claire's over into mine, which is what you can see me doing now. And then I was like, is this just not too close? It's just sort of cheating. So I scrapped that idea and went back onto paint or sigh and just picked the colours from her half just so they would match. Trying to match because I think she used ink tents pencils on this and pencil crayons I think don't hold me to that um, but trying to match that sort of texture and everything with my well on 
uh, painful side I did struggle a lot so I just thought I'll try and match the colours and where the light and shadows would go coming off from hers so at least it would match that way um, but yeah I'm quite happy with how the trunk of the tree came out but the leaves not so much I do like the waterfall in the back because I think it gives the background a bit of depth I do think I could have done with getting the waterfall a little bit more detailed but I don't know with it being a background feature I didn't want it to take over the piece so I think I just need to work on digital art a little bit more so I can get better at it and then I'll be able to put more details in and be more confident with it because I'm not all that confident in doing digital work but that's because I don't really do it enough and when I do I normally use it for just doing character designs like I have done a few character designs for um, a children's book I was working on which has had to be paused temporarily but anyway um, I'm quite happy with how the long grass bamboo I think it is bits turned out I think I managed to get those to work well against Claire's there is a little bit of like a difference between where bits are like that the pictures aren't completely perfectly aligned I did try and alter that a little bit but not enough but it it's not something that is like immediately noticeable it's just if you see it is there uh, we're coming up to the end of the video now and don't forget to go and check out Claire's video and I'll link it in the description below but her half is just so cool and amazing I know how difficult it is to draw someone crouching down let alone a male figure which I know and anyone that watches Claire knows that she's not very confident in drawing male figures so she's done really well with this and I love the little detail of the heart it just looks so cool and really brings in the Valentine's Day theme. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like the piece of art. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for the next part of the Fan Art Feb series. Bye.